A review in 2016 identified the need for significant restoration and maintenance work, including things like addressing water leaks uh, causing damage uh, to the stone work and water leaks inside the building. Uh, repair metal works along the balconies, as you can see on the outside, on the north and south side, to really prevent further heritage loss. Replacing the deteriorating and missing mortar uh, on the stone work is also work that needs to happen. Cleaning and restoring the building's exterior and reinstalling metal flashing and waterproof membranes to protect the building from future damage is very much needed. Today we are taking action to make the preservation of this historical building a priority for Manitobans. We will support ongoing regular maintenance and repair and provide stable and secure funding for the work that needs to happen. The first phase of the work will include masonry repairs and restoration or revitalization of the north side of the building. That's been identified as the most important areas. In addition, some main entrance facade improvements will be completed by 2020, the building's centennial year. Again, the centennial year, very important uh, time frame. So we think it's important to celebrate history and support this in terms of our investment in the building. It's a building that probably some of you may have come and gotten wedding pictures at, or people when they come to town, you show the legislative building for everything that it is. It's a major attraction here. So we think it's important to to uh, make important investments to maintain the heritage nature of the building. So.